In this review notes, we will discuss problems related to parallel circuit and some principles involved in it. Here is our problem for this review note. Two resistances, 8 and 10 ohms respectively, are connected in parallel and takes a total of 9 ampere. What is the current flowing in the 8 ohms resistance? Analyzing the problem, we have two parallel resistances, R1 and R2, and or 8 and 10 ohms respectively, with a total current of 9 amperes. And we are asked to find the current in 8 ohms resistors. Here's our circuit, which we draw in our mind or in the back of the paper to start our calculation. We cannot do the current divider rule because voltage total is unknown. We can compute for the total resistance, then solve for the total voltage because we have the total current given. Solve for the total resistance first. Second, the voltage total. Because we know that in parallel circuit, the total voltage is equal to the voltage in 8 ohms resistor. And the total resistance can be solved using parallel resistance formula. Then, once the voltage is given, we can solve the current in 8 ohms resistor. Solving for the total resistance, we have R1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2. That is 8 times 10 divided by 18 equals 4.44 ohms. Solving for the total voltage Bt, it is equals to total current times the total resistance. That is 9 amperes times 4.44 ohms equals 40 volts. Since we know that the voltage totals equals the voltage in the 8 ohms resistor, then solving for the current in 8 ohms resistor is equals to 40 volts divided by 8 ohms. The answer is 5 amperes. In our selection of choices, our correct answer is letter A, 5 amperes. Our second problem in the parallel circuit is just finding for the parallel resistance. It reads like this. What resistance must be connected across a 4 ohm resistance in order to give an equivalent resistance of 3 ohms? Shown in the slide is the possible circuit drawing. To start the calculation, R1 is 4 ohms and R2 is unknown and the total resistance is 3 ohms. Just looking at it gives your mind the formula for parallel resistance. Here is our parallel resistance formula. 1 over RT is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Using our fractional solution, the common denominator is 12. We can say that the resistance to be connected parallel to 4 ohms is 12 ohms to give a total resistance of 3 ohms. So our R2 is equals to 12 ohms. Our choices gives us letter C, 12 ohms. Our third problem commonly appeared in the board exam with different values, yet the solution is the same. It reads like this. If 18 resistances each of a value of 36 ohms are connected in parallel, then the total resistance is blank. You can visualize it something like this, as you can see in your screen. And we have a shortcut formula for this kind of problem, as long as the resistances in parallel has the same value across, in this case, 36 ohms. The total resistance is equal to the value of the resistance in parallel divided by N or the number of total connected resistances. Shown in your screen is the formula. Substituting the values to the formula, we have 36 ohms divided by 18 equals 2. The total resistance 
of the given circuit is 2 ohms. In the choices given in the problem, our answer is letter B, 2 ohms. Before we continue solving our problems, please listen to this. Hi, I'm Bruce Salazar and we are here in Master Electrician Review Notes. We are here to review basic electrical principles and electrical code that are commonly asked in board exam and some electrical calculation. If you are interested to always get updated, watch my YouTube videos and subscribe and hit the bell to get the notification for updated posts or you can like us on Facebook also. To maximize the use of technology available to us, this Master Electrician's online review is associated with the use of a Moodle app. The Moodle app will assist you in your licensure examination review goal. There are thousands of objective type questions with answers which will automatically quiz you to build your stack knowledge. You can take exam many times and monitor your performance. For example, 100 test exams a day is a good start. Only paid online reviewer can access the site. However, you can watch this video and learn from this review notes. Okay, let's proceed. Okay, let us continue solving problems. Our number per problem is a combination of series and parallel resistances. It reads like this. A resistor of 3 ohms is connected in parallel with one of 2 ohms resistance. If the combination is connected in series with a 4 ohm resistor, what is the equivalent resistance of the whole combination of 3 resistor? Based on your visualization of the problem, the circuit in your screen is the representation of the problem. 3 ohms is parallel with 2 ohms, and the combination is connected in series with 4 ohms. We need to find the total resistance of this circuit. Just by examining the figure, we have 4 ohms plus the parallel resistance is the total resistance, right? Okay, solving for the total resistance, we have total resistance is equals to 3 times 2 divided by the sum of 3 plus 2 plus 4 ohms connected in series. The resulting total resistance is equal to 5.2 ohms. Well, from the choices given, our correct answer is letter D, 5.2 ohms. Our P problem is a parallel circuit, but we need to find the total power taken by the circuit. It reads like this. Three 9-ohm resistors are connected in parallel across a 24-volt source. The total power taken by the circuit is blank. Okay, investigating the problem gives a fast strategy to solve. Total parallel resistance of a 3 9 ohm resistor is just equal to 9 divided by 3 3 ohms, like applying the latest formula we know a while ago, and the power formula of B square over R. Without any drawing, we can solve the problem. The total resistance is 9 ohms divided by 3 equals 3 ohms. The total power is V square over R, which is 24 volts to be square divided by 3 ohms, and the answer is 192 watts. From the choices given, our correct answer is letter C, 192 watts. You learned so much today. Why not take some problems in our Moodle review app? The strategy that we apply to the problem we solve here has a lot of application. You will find some problems it is to solve. In our online review for RME, you need to take as many problems as possible to pass the board exam for RME, at least 100 questions per day, and you can do that in the Moodle app. Good luck! For now, you can subscribe in this channel to keep you updated, or you can visit my Facebook page and like us to support the Master Electrician's Review. FractalKnowledge.com offered online review app, the mobile app, which will assist you in your review goal. There are tons of questions and answers to build your stack knowledge. The Moodle app is available in iOS for iPhone and Play Store for Android. Please contact the following person and message them for more information. Good luck and see you in your review. Next is my disclaimer on contents and disclaimer on images used. Contents are properly references if it came from books and images are copyrighted by their owners for proper use. 
the reference came from public search engine using a specific keyword and was properly referenced to credit them, then please read the details.